The military has officially stopped selling Playboy on its bases. Ooh, no! Because we know porn isn't. That's right, it's not. There's free boobs left, right, and center on the internet these days. So instead of throwing down their hard-earned cash on nudie mags, troops are satisfying their carnal urges online instead. They're free. Magazine sales have dropped 86% since 1998. So now that there's no money to be made, the military's yanking them from shelves. Pun intended. Since 1996, <laughs> the military's banned sales of anything where, quote, the dominant theme depicts or describes nudity, including sexual or excretory activities or organs in a lascivious way. But the rule organs. was never enforced. Anti-porn groups lobbied the Defense Department to stop the sale of these magazines for years, but they didn't get anywhere. So the message is clear. The military is happy to supply our troops with old-school porn as long as it sells. But now that it's not, I've got a pro tip for heroes in uniform. Just use the Google Chrome incognito window. You're welcome. I like her. I like her a lot. She's cool. She's good in my book. Now I'm going to show you somebody that isn't good in my book. This bitch. Just wanted to update you on a development that happened yesterday that we're very pleased about. The U.S. Oh. Navy issued a report, uh, the, the Secretary of the Navy, Ray Mabus, ordered that all offensive pornographic materials be removed from naval and marine bases. Uh, this includes Why? stuff in workspaces, pub like public shared areas, and the exchanges where they're selling pornographic magazines, even though it's illegal. So this is going to be stopped. We've been working on this for a long time. Whoa, what? So, I just watched a video saying that they're pulling the magazines off the shelves because they're not selling. Well, that makes more sense to me. I mean, why would they stop the sale of this stuff otherwise? What, some fucking piddly little activists come up there and whine to them and you think they're just going to be like, Oh yeah, we're going to listen to you and stop selling it to these guys. Bullshit. But very aggressively the last couple of weeks. Oh, bullshit. I'm very pleased. Aggressively, that my ass. Is, is taking this action. We hope that it carries over to the other branches and we're pretty confident that it will. We, uh, we increased our efforts a couple of weeks ago when the Pentagon announced that there's been an increase, a 35% increase in the number of sexual assaults. Whoa, what? Sexual assaults? Really? You're blaming porn for the increase of sexual assaults? No, I'm sorry, sweetie, but men have been assaulting women since the dawn of time. In our armed forces, and most of these assaults are targeted towards our female soldiers. There are twenty. There were 26,000 sexual assaults reported last year. That's, I'm sure, a very low number to actually what, what happened, because sexual assault is one of the most underreported crimes out there. Oh, 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 what? You don't sound too sure there. You know, if you're going to report something like that, you should, you know, maybe use a little bit more conviction in your voice. Wouldn't you say? Um, the Secretary of Defense, Chuck Hagel, even said that, said that this is seven, there are 70 assaults happening a day. There's the President Obama called this a crisis. What? President Obama called this a crisis? Oh, you can tell she's getting off on this kind of shit. I mean, are you serious? Yeah, it's a problem. But the fact that you're focused on porn being the issue is just stupid. Maybe they, maybe the soldiers in the military don't get enough porn. Maybe they don't get enough free time to hang out with each other. Maybe they get too much free time and that's why these assaults happen. There's a number of different factors. Maybe they're all just, I don't know. Maybe it's the desert heat. Right now, lots of people are trying or to figure out they why, to be. as we've been saying, pornography has contributed to this. This is just a consequence. Bullshit! Bullshit! Of allowing pornography for so many years to, to be sold in our military and to be shared and accessed and even posted in some of the public workspaces. Um, oh my last god. Last year, there were 59 sexual assaults alone at one Air Force base in San Antonio, Lackland, and 32 instructors are being are being inspect or are being investigated for this right now and uh, the US Air Force realize seems to have realized that possibly offensive pornographic materials contribute to this 
uh, culture. And so last year they did a, a search of Air Force bases, just 90 or so of them, and they found over 32,000 offensive materials out in public workspaces. Yeah, offensive to you and all your stupid people that find them offensive. To everybody else, they don't give a shit. They like porn. They like jerking off to it, okay? Shut the fuck up. The problem is, though, even though the Air Force did this sweep, they didn't order that all of this stuff be removed. It's because it's not a big deal. To Lackland, the, where the location of all of these assaults. And you can see that six months later, I just took this picture on May 30th, they're still selling pornography in the exchange. Uh, you mean magazines like Penthouse and Playboy? I'm sorry, but I failed to see the connection between softcore porn magazines like Penthouse and Playboy attributing to sexual assault. I really do. Seeing as the, the content in Penthouse and Playboy is pretty tame in nature, there really isn't any relevant connection between the act of a violent sexual assault and the material being sold there. So, whatever. But now the Navy has said that that won't be allowed anymore, and we're very pleased with this development. We've been on Capitol Hill meeting with members, key members of Congress, specifically the Armed Services Committee. Oh, my God. And we've issued letters, sent letters to the Joint Chiefs of Staff and to the Secretary of Defense and asking for them to stop the sale of pornography and to, to prohibit access to it. And they're listening, which is just so... <laughs> Oh, oh, it's so amazing that they're listening. No, bitch, you had no fucking influence at all on the 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 stoppage of sale of pornography in the in the PX and the in and the military exchange. You had no fucking influence at all when it comes to that. The reason why they stopped selling pornography in the PX or the exchange or whatever the fuck you want to call it is because it isn't selling. I mean, shit, when I was in, that shit never sold. I didn't know anybody that actually bought that shit. No, we got all our porn online. We've been getting our porn online since, like, you know, the late 90s. Nobody buys magazines anymore. Are you kidding me? I mean, maybe you're one of those people that read the articles in Playboy, but I'm not one of them. can have an impact like that. And Bullshit, you didn't have any impact. And hope that more of you can support our efforts, especially in the military, to help change the sexually exploitive culture now rampant there. Rampant. Um, rampant. Yeah, it's just rampant. Just because it's happening more doesn't mean it's freaking out of control. And there's probably logical explanations for it, but I guarantee you that porn isn't the fucking explanation. Make it safer for our brave female soldiers who are willing to serve. Oh, willing to serve, and then she gets caught, cut off. Yeah, okay. Well, you know, I have a proposition here uh, for the uh, female soldiers that don't want to get raped. Uh, don't join the military, I guess. I mean, really, when it comes down to it, think about it this way. You're surrounded by predominantly men. You're probably in a country that's on the other side of the world. Uh, most of the guys that are with you in the country that you're in uh, are sex starved. I mean, they want to they want to find a woman. They want to have sex. They want to fuck, you know. So, what are they going to do? Fuck the locals? No, because they might have, you know, all kinds of manner of uh, sexually transmitted diseases. I mean, you don't know what those fucking women in desert country like Iraq have. I mean, you just don't know. So, since men outnumber women in the military like I don't even know the exact ratio but I'm sure definitely for a fact that men outnumber women like something probably like five to one or some kind of crap I'm just gonna speculate now don't take that as actual fact because I don't really know but I'm just gonna guess and say it's like a five to one ratio that's a lot of dicks compared to vaginas so <laughs> eventually there's gonna be some some tension built up, especially if you got these idiots that are higher up, like these generals and admirals in this case, if it's the Navy, 
that are saying that you can't have any more porn and you can't display it on your walls and you can't even jerk off and if we if we find out that you have porn on your computer we're going to court martial you and put you in jail